M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's do some satellite tracking with our UVK5K6. We've got the ISS tracker, as you can see on the left there. And here, we, while I'm using Chirp, this time I have made a separate video using the Quancheng software, but this is the Chirp software and the satellite frequencies are just here. Look, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And if you like, you, I will uh, copy and paste these in the description, plus provide the file link in my M0FXB Facebook page and in my M6LSJ group, uh, put in M6LSJ code plugs. That's my friend Lionel there that you will see. Uh, so we'll create the file, put the files in there as well. See if we can upload it now while we're actually talking. So upload a file, I just made that one from Chirp. And then I put in satellites. Um, U V K five and K six A one uploaded to M six L S J as well, and I, uh, you will find there in a second as well the the file from the Quanshang software, which is which works well, I think. Okay, so let's go through these frequencies again to chirp if i just show you the first one now the, the thing about satellites is that the frequency slightly changes as it comes towards you and moves away from you that's called the doppler effect and you obviously need to transmit on a different frequency as well so we double click the frequency here yeah what chirp does i'm just looking at this now it actually adds an offset shift for you it still works it's got this very unusual offset which brings it down to two meters so try it out and I, I i am feeling that when you have this radio in high power it doesn't like it you're probably better off lowering the power i would say because when i'm keying it's you know it's giving me an, a voltage error so it doesn't like to be in full power so give it a go that's chirp and the satellites thanks for watching my channel bye for now